Hello everyone, this is Freename on YouTube. Here's a video on how to factory reset this TP-Link Aginet or Aginet uh, EX530V router. In my mock setup, I've got it on the wrong IP address. I've forgotten the password to log in. And just so you know, the first time somebody logs into this router, it will force them to set a password. So if you don't know the password and nobody, you think nobody's logged in in the past, then somebody must have logged in and has set a password. There's no way to avoid that. So if you've forgotten the password or you've got it on the wrong IP address, you want to go back to the factory settings or at least your internet provider's default settings because the ISP can set their own defaults on these. You need to find the reset hole on the back of the router, which is there, just above the telephone green telephone socket, and you will need a unbent paper clip or something to press that reset button. What I'll do is I will press it and I will show you what the lights will do on the front of the router so you know how long to press it for and what the lights do. You'll also see how long it takes to factory reset. This one over here of 192.168.200.1 should stop responding and then when it's booted up again this one over here instead of saying destination net unreachable should then say um, that it's, it's responding to pings. So this will stop responding to pings and this will stop saying destination net unreachable and will start responding to pings. So I've now got the reset thing ready to press and I will let you know when I'm going to press it and you can see what the lights do. So I'm going to press the button now And about six seconds later, the power light started flashing and I've let go of the button. So you hold the reset button down until the power light starts flashing. The router is now rebooted and it's uh, dropped the pings on the, the incorrect custom IP. And now we have to wait for it to reboot and come back on the default IP address. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. And I also do like knowing I've helped somebody, so uh, if you do want to leave a comment, I'd be very pleased with that as well. So this power light should go solid soon to indicate it's finished booting. And the router is now responding on its default IP address of 192.168.0.1. So there we go. That's how you factory default this TP-Link EX530 router. If the video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. The video notifications don't really matter, but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. Thank you very much.